Okay. Good morning, everyone. So um, today we'll continue where we left off yesterday. Uh, we'll make some ragdolls and we'll make uh, some triggers and colliders uh, to change our animation. <laughs> so um, let's open up the project we had yesterday. Uh, so just open up the file we had yesterday. We're not creating a new one today. So we're just continuing where we left off. Um, Fernando. Yep. This thing, well, this thing yesterday, but when I like change from walking to sprinting, my animations aren't very like fluid. Like it kind of like cuts it. Yep, that's what we're gonna it's fix today. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just let me know in the chat when you're uh, when you have your project open, and we're ready to start. Also, am I supposed to see the mouse? Because like on our other games, we didn't see it when I play. Um, and then this one, you see it. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, you're not. Uh, yeah, we didn't disable that mouse. Oh, we can disable it now. Um, okay. Yeah. So just let me know in the chat when you guys are ready. Uh, are we gonna go to two D next week, or are we gonna stick with three D? Um, you guys said you guys wanted to move on to two D, so we're gonna do two D. Okay. Yeah. Not as you change your mind this week. <laughs> I'll do another vote uh, today, and uh, and we'll see what we're gonna do next week. Okay. Okay. So now that everyone's ready. Um, so like I said, we have our player, uh, and now one problem we're going to fix, um, that, uh, was it Zane was, uh, was saying is that our movements are not fluid. So if I walk, it's okay because I'm going from zero, uh, to that, uh, that number, uh, the walking number, it's the eight, but then if I sprint, so if I hold shift, my character immediately starts running. And then when I let go, he immediately, uh, you know, this goes back to the walk animation. So there's no, uh, there's no like fluid uh, movement there. There's no uh, smooth movement. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, so let's fix that problem. Um, let's go to the player controller. Let's open it up. Open up the script. Okay. And inside our script. We're going to take a look at this uh, this code here, where we multiply the run speed and we multiply the speed. OK? So here's, a, um, here's where our problem is. Our problem is that it uh, immediately multiplies by a number. And then uh, if you let go, it, uh, it multiplies by another. So um, here's where the choppy movement happens. So to fix this problem, what we're going to do is we're going to do a, uh, a math lerp. Uh, it's a linear interpolation. So basically, we get from one number to another smoothly. So uh, let's just say my number is 0, and I want to go to speed 8. So it's slowly going to increment to that number. Instead of snapping to 8, it's going to slowly increment to that number. So that's going to give us a nice um, like kind of ramp up. So let's go all the way up here, and we're going to define some variables. <clears throat> so after our private uh, move direction, um, let's define our maybe a private float, and this one is going to be called um, smooth uh, speed. And the next one is going to be public. Uh, should it be public? Yeah, public float. And we're going to call this, this is going to be the, what is it? What should we call it? Frequency. Yeah, uh, smooth frequency. And we're going to make this default to 10, so equals 10, 10.0f if you want. <laughs> so here we define these two variables, 
smooth speed and smooth frequency. Uh, so what smooth speed is, it's a smooth speed is going to be a number that's going to bounce from one to another, uh, defined by our speed and run speed. And a smooth frequency is basically how fast is it going to get to that uh, that destination. In this case, we gave it 10 speed. Um, that's going to be how fast it's going to go to that um, destination, uh, that goal. Okay, so uh, let's scroll down. So we have these two variables. <clears throat> And we're going to go here where it says um, our if we press the left shift. Uh, so inside this if statement, we're going to say smooth smooth speed is equal to, and we're going to use the math library, and we're going to lerp linear interpolate between two numbers. And the two numbers we're going to interpret uh, interpolate is smooth speed, so whatever our smooth speed is, to our um, destination. So destination is run speed. And how fast? It's going to be time, uh, delta time, times as uh, frequency. Okay, and semicolon. Now that we have this, uh, this number is coming, is going from whatever it was to running speed. So it's going to uh, slowly move toward that running speed by uh, this um, this speed. So time to delta so the how much time has passed by each frame and multiplied by whatever speed we just defined. So here on our next line, instead of run speed, we're now going to type smooth speed. Okay, because now this is the the speed that uh, that we want to go. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing with the one and the else. Uh, we're just gonna copy this line, smooth speed uh, math interpol uh, lerp. Um, we're gonna copy it and we're gonna put it inside the else. Okay, and in here instead of run speed. Our destination is speed, so we're going to erase run speed and just put speed. Okay, this is going to be our walking speed. So whatever it was in, let's just say if it's a higher number, it's going to slowly uh, descend to its goal. Okay, and in here we're going to change this to smooth speed. Okay. Can you scroll up a little bit to the smooth frequency line, the public flow, line 24? Mm -hmm. All right, thanks. Yep. Is it normal for lerp or like the interpolate one line uh, that just the word lerp to be underlined red? Uh, no, make sure you have math f. It's math f dot lerp. Yeah, I have that, but for some reason it's underlining it red, and I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, it might be your spelling. Make sure the m is capital, the f is lowercase, dot capital L lerp. Yeah, that's what it is. Can you share your screen so I can see? Yeah, I got it. Oh, um, you're missing a parameter. Uh, so you have smooth speed, comma, uh, run speed, comma, time dot delta time. So inside the parentheses, yeah, after the smooth speed, you're missing run speed and then comma, yeah, that's it. And then the bottom one, same thing. Uh, instead of run speed, uh, this one is speed. Um, does this bottom line come before this one or does it not uh, matter? No, no, it does matter. Uh, it's before. Okay, well, then I'll move this. Yeah, because you're doing the calculation first, then you're moving. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah, and then the line number 67, uh, yeah, you're missing a speed. So after smooth speed, okay, so change run speed to speed. Capital S? Yeah. All right. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And then, hold on, hold on, you're still not done. And then the next line, uh, change it uh, from speed to smooth speed. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. Right. Save. Okay, so once you guys have that, let's go back to Unity. 
And uh, we're going to press play. And now we should see our players smoothly lurp from um, from uh, yeah, one animation to another. Because now it's slowly going from one number to another. Okay. Does anyone have any uh, issues, problems? No. I'm assuming everything works. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is um, we're going to get rid of our mouse. Um, because someone. Um, yeah, so we're going to get rid of our mouse uh, because our mouse is still <laughs> around there. So let's go back to the code. Let's go up here um, on our start function. Then inside our start function, we're just going to type uh, cursor. Oops. Cursor dot lock state equals cursor lock mode dot uh, confined. Oh, wait, is it confined? Uh, it's a lock. Oh, it's locked. Sorry. So cursor the lock state cursor lock mode dot locked. Hello, Parashar. Join in late. <laughs> yeah. Um, today. It's fine. Uh, just open up yesterday's project. We're continuing from that project. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when you uh, finish this, just save it, and then your mouse should go away, uh, and you're free to look around without your mouse interfering. Now, uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to work with uh, a ragdoll. So uh, basically what's going to happen is our animations are going to stop uh, when a certain, mm, certain uh, what is it called, event happens. And uh, once that event happens, then the rigid body is going to take over, and then uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to play the, the ragdoll effect. Okay, uh, to make a ragdoll, um, you guys have to click on... Uh, game object, 3D object, and then ragdoll. Uh, Fernando, what have we done so far, sir? Um, we've uh, one, we removed the mouse, and second, we added a uh, um, a smooth movement to our our character because when we used to hold shift, it it snapped to running, and then you let go, it snapped to walking. It wasn't smooth, um, so what we did is we, we smoothed out that uh, that number by doing this. Where uh, inside the if statement, we made a variable, uh, and then we did this. We just lerped from one number to another using a, uh, a delta time, and then uh, instead of moving by run speed, we're moving by smooth speed. I'll I'll tell you what to do. Let me just let uh, get everyone um, working, and then uh, well, I'll come back to you. Okay, so for everyone else, um, so yeah, so just make sure you click on game object, uh, 3D object, and then ragdoll. Once you click that uh, button, ragdoll, you'll get this um, window. And it's asking pelvis, left knee, uh, left foot, and all that stuff. So you need to manually grab all the parts of that character. So if you click on capsule and then go to your player, the first thing you're going to see is the player's named hips. Uh, and then you click that, and then there's going to be more children. And then in there, you're going to click that number, uh, that arrow. Then it's going to give you more, and so on and so forth. So you need to go in order. Like the first one says pelvis. Uh, pelvis is just the hips. So you just click and drag your hips from your hierarchy and just drag it into your um, your ragdoll here, um, ragdoll window. And then it's going to uh, ask you left hip. Left hip is the left leg. So left leg. So it's going to go by order. It's just uh, the naming convention on this one is a little bit different. So like left knee, this one's just left leg. And then left foot, it's going to be left foot. And you're going to do the same thing for all of them. And there is a child of the left up leg to be... Um... Oh, wait. Oh, never mind. I see it now. Never mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then um, the other tricky one is middle spine. Middle spine is just spine zero. Uh, so it's the first spine. It's the first parent of spine. 
Then it's going to give you, I think, like three spines. So spine one, two. Oh, just two spines. So spine one and two. You don't have to worry about those. The only ones you have to worry about is the head and the spine. Uh, so just go through all the necks and just put head and head. So middle spine and head should be um, in the correct spot. And then finally, we have left, uh, what's that? Left shoulder and right shoulder. Um, I don't like doing the shoulder. I like doing the arm, so I'm just going to grab the arm. I'm going to skip the shoulder. So where it says arm, left arm, left forearm, and finally, oh, there's no hand. Okay, that's good. And right arm, and right forearm. Okay. Then when you have it, this should look. Uh, this is how it should look like. Um, all of them filled out. Uh, and when you press create, uh, you're going to see little arrows sticking out of the player. Um, to see it better, just click on the SWAT, and you'll see that uh, Unity has created box colliders uh, with this object. Wait, can you reopen like the ragdoll thing? I'm not sure like which things go with uh, which thing. Dang it. I can't open it anymore. <laughs> I have, to, I have to redo everything. Um, well, uh, can I just ask you, like, which one? Like, can I just, like, ask you, like, which part goes with each thing? Um, okay. All right. Uh, what is left arm? Left arm. Uh, you just skip the shoulder and go into just the arm, just left where it says left or right arm. Oh, okay. I see that. Yeah, just skip uh, right shoulder. You don't need right shoulder. Okay. And then um, what about left elbow? Is that just left yeah. forearm? Left elbow, yeah, it's a uh, forearm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right, so uh, I'm, not, I'm not seeing mm -hmm. arms. I'm just seeing spine and legs. Um, it's under... Um, spine? Is it? Yeah, so click on spine, spine one, spine two. Yeah. And then after spine two, there is a left shoulder, neck, and right shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. So then, left left shoulder is uh, you open that up, and then you get left arm. All right. And then is middle spine just spine? Yeah, middle spine is just spine. Okay. Yeah. And okay. then head is just soldier head. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Parshar. So here's the code that you need uh, to uh, copy uh, to make this work. Uh, so just make sure you go into the if statement where you are looking for left shift. And oh, actually, you know what? Before creating this, um, scroll all the way up. We need to make two variables, and these are the two variables you need. Okay. Let's see. Let me know when you have it ready. I got it. Okay. So once you have these two variables, we're going to scroll down here on our if statement. So if the uh, if key code left shift, and in here we're going to write this code, and we're going to edit uh, the line after that. So instead of uh, run speed, it's going to be smooth speed. And that's it. Um, yeah. And then uh, the line after that, just make sure you change this. So it should say smooth speed instead of uh, run speed. Mm -hmm. And the line after that, you're going to do exactly the same uh, on the else. So just copy and paste the, the line you just uh, typed, and then paste it here. And the only change you're going to do is instead of run speed, it's just going to say speed. Wait, for the else to OK. Yeah. Instead of run speed, okay. Mm -hmm. And then the same thing you did with the ne uh, next line. So move direction. Instead of speed, it's going to be smooth speed. Yeah. Okay. And that's it. Save it. Oh, actually, uh, one more thing. Scroll all the way up uh, inside your start function. And uh, we did this, the lock mode. So cursor.lock state.
So the cursor goes away. Okay. So just save it and then um, go back to Unity, and then you should your running animation should be a smoother. Yeah. And then did everyone get their uh, ragdoll done? A ragdoll finished. About mine. Not yours. What? Or what did you say? Sorry. Oh, sorry. I, I got mine. I got mine. Oh. Okay. 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 Uh. So like when I drag the axis down, like. My leg stretch and stuff, right? <laughs> yeah. So this is uh, these are called bones. So when you move the bones, it's only um, it's only allowed to move a part of the mesh. So uh, this is uh, how this is how animations work. Uh, so you move a, a bunch of uh, bones and uh, what's it called? In inverse kinematics. Uh, and when you do inverse kinematics, the whole the whole thing acts like you know real world physics. So we're gonna well we were gonna take a look at that next time but uh, we're not doing 3d anymore so maybe some other day um how do i like move my character down because right now he's kind of hovering is there no way to move him down because his legs will just get super big yeah just uh click on swat or sorry just click on your uh, character whatever character yeah. you have and just bring him down bring him down to like 1.05 or 6 and that should help you out okay right. on the y-axis uh, Fernando, where do I start the ragdoll? Uh, for ragdoll, just click on uh, game object, 3D object, and then ragdoll. And then you have all these uh, non-transforms. So you have to go through, uh, so you have to open up your character. So inside your character, you have uh, hips. And so that's going to be your first one, the first bone. So just click and drag hips in the first bone. Yeah. And then um, your left leg as your left hips. And then your left like the pelvis. Sorry, the uh, the pelvis. Or yeah, left hips. Yeah, left. No, the hips. The pelvis is just the hips. Okay, and then <laughs> what's the left hips? The left one. Are you using the same character as me, or are you using something, some other character? I'm using no, no I'm using this one. No, no, for the ragdoll one. Uh, like no, in no, the ragdoll saying, settings. No, no, I'm saying the player. I'm using SWAT. The SWAT. Using so SWAT. it's the same guy as me, right? Okay. Yeah. So yeah. So the left foot, just click and drag your uh, was it uh, left leg, and then left. So just just go through the the parent and child the child's. Um, it's just gonna be drag and drop, in order. Wait. So should I drop the child's or the parents? Well, okay. So first you start with hips, right? Hips is the first one. It's pelvis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then left hips. It's the next one, which is left up leg, and then left leg okay. is the next one. And then left foot is the next one. And then right, you go to the right up leg and uh, and so on and so forth. OK, OK. Mm And the left arm and stuff is that here? I don't think it's that's here. that's under spine. So the first, uh, so this okay. is this, this is a little bit out of order. So click on your spine and then drag it into middle spine. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, uh, open up a uh, spine. And it's gonna say spine one. Open that up. Spine two. Open that up. And then you have uh, left shoulder, neck, and right shoulder. Um, so open up your left shoulder, uh, and then just uh, skip left shoulder and then move on to left arm. And left arm is going to go left arm, left forearm is going to go to elbow, and then left hand, uh, there's no hand, so you don't have to worry about the hand. And Wait, so the left shoulder should left, go in? Uh, no, the one that says left arm should have left arm, and then left elbow should have left forearm. Okay. There's no, sh there's no shoulder, we're not using the shoulder. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then uh, same thing with right arm and right uh, elbow. So just pick the right one, right arm, and right forearm. And then finally, the head, it's going to be under neck. So just open up neck. It's going to be neck and neck one, and just drag and drop head. 
and then you have your uh, everything set up. And just press create. Okay. Uh, oh. I, okay, I did it. <clears throat> okay, perfect. Okay, so once you guys have this, um, so like I said, your uh, rigid, your um, ragdoll should be on. Uh, the thing we need to do, though, is we need to turn it off when the game starts because it's this is being uh, controlled by animations. So once our character dies, then we'll, we're going to activate the ragdoll uh, feature. So uh, we're going to go to capsule, and let's, uh, yeah, let's uh, make a new script. Add component, and let's call it. Mm, let's call it health, player health. Oh, we already have player health in here. Mm, okay, let's open up player health then. And so it's already in there. Okay, uh, so what we're going to do first is let's, um, like here in our player health, uh, we, need to, we need to access all the, uh, because all our objects here for our, um, dang, the rigid body, no, sorry, not rigid, our, the thing we just made, what is it called, body, uh, uh, ragdoll, jeez, I'm bad with names now. <laughs> the thing with ragdolls, so all the ragdolls, if you notice, let's just say like if you clicked on the hips, uh, all, all of them that we, uh, all the bones that we chose now have a rigid body and a box collider. So we're not going to, well, yeah, we are going to care about the box sliders. Um, we're going to disable the box sliders and we're going to disable our rigid body. So we're going to turn it into kinematic. Okay, so uh, we're going to do this through code. Uh, but notice that everything under uh, SWAT, if all the children, uh, we don't care. Well, I mean, we're going to let Unity go through each one. And if they, it doesn't have it, then Unity is just going to move on. Uh, but if it does have it, it's going to add it to a list. And then we're going to go through that list uh, and uh, disable each one. So let's go inside the start function. So after we do the health bar, we're going to type um, rigid body. So it's going to be a list of rigid bodies. And I'm just going to say bodies equals to... And we need to grab our um, our component that has all our um, all our uh, rigid bodies. So here, uh, uh, yeah. So we need to define another variable up here. Um, so after Im public image, so we're gonna say public oops, public transform, and we're gonna call it skeleton. Okay, and then in here. Uh, we're going to go back to rigid body bracket bodies equals skeleton dot uh, get components. Uh, well, component. components in children. Okay, so we're doing components with an S. Okay, in children. And what we're looking for is we're looking for rigid bodies. So once we have our rigid bodies, uh, we're going to disable all our rigid bodies. So we're going to say for each rich rigid rigid body, uh, we're going to call it RB in bodies. Uh, we're going to disable them. So we're going to say RB dot uh, is kinematic is true. And I think that's it, yeah. We don't have to mess around with the gravity. And we're gonna do the same thing here. Instead of uh, rigid bodies, we're going to do box colliders. Uh, wait, um, no, we're not. Actually, you know, just leave them on. It's not going to affect our player yet. 
we're just going to disable our rigid body. That's the only thing that, you know, does all the uh, movement. Okay. Once you have this, uh, we're going to make another function. Um, yeah. It's not only when we type in RB. Whenever I type RB and then try to do dot, it automatically just connects it to render buffer. And I'm not sure how to like change it back to RB. Um, make sure you have rigid body <laughs> and then RB. Is yeah, that... I do. Can you share your screen? Okay. Okay, let me see. Okay, um, if I type a RB and then dot, it just goes to that. Oh yeah, because you have an error on the code. Um, can you scroll a little bit to the right? Oh, you put RD, not RB. Oh, RB. Also, Fernando, I have the same error as in in the skeleton dot get component. I can't. Um, can you scroll a little bit to the right, Reese? I mean, okay. uh, let's see. Wait, what? <laughs> you mean sorry. Jane? Yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, so you have the wrong components. Components with an S. Get components. Oh. You're getting multiple. Uh, Fernando, I have that, but it's still not working. Uh, okay. Can you share your screen? Uh, rigid body is a lowercase b body. There you go. <laughs> okay. So, um, okay, so everyone has this. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a function that is going to turn them um, off. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's going to turn off the kinematics. That means our, um, our, oh, damn it. What is it called? <laughs> oh, ragdoll is going to turn on. Man, I'm forgetting ragdoll. Ragdoll. OK, uh, so we're going to make a function here. Um, should we make it public? Yeah, we're just going to make it public just for the giggles. So we're going to say public uh, void and i or death. I think die is fine. I. And in here, uh, we're going to do almost the same what we did here. Oh, actually, we're going to do the same. So just copy and paste this. Copy and paste. And then here, instead of true, it's going to be false because we're turning all of them on. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we need to turn off our, um, our player movement. So we can't move anymore because once we're dead, we're dead. Um, we need to turn off our uh, game. Our, What's it called? The character controller. Uh, and what else do we need to turn off? Let's um, go to capsule. Yeah, so we need to turn off the collider, the player controller, character controller, uh, make sure the rigid body is kinematic. And uh, yeah, so we need to disable all this. So luckily, player health uh, belongs with all of these. So you can just say, um, because it's in the same game object, you can just say get component. So here, we're going to say get component. Um, character controller, and we're gonna say dot enabled equals false, and get component, um, capsule collider dot enabled equals false, equals false, and get component player controller enabled equals false. We're turning those three off. Okay, and then finally we need to make our rigid body kinematic. So we can say get component rigid body um, is kinematic equals oops, equals true. Yeah. So it doesn't accept any more collisions.
And the last thing we need to do is turn off our animator because our animator uh, is moving our character. Our ca oops, our character wants to be controlled by um, by the uh, ragdoll. So to turn off our animator, first we need to look where the where is the animator. So we're in capsule. The, uh, the animator is a child of it, so we need to look for a child. So uh, after this, we're going to say get component uh, in children. And the component we're looking for is animator. And we're going to say is uh, enabled equals false. Okay. So we just disabled it. So once you have that, um, now we need to figure out a way how to call die. Um, for this example, uh, after three seconds of the game start, we're going to just call die. Um, again, this is just for just to see if our uh, our uh, dang it our I can't memorize the name. Holy moly, what's wrong with you today? Ragdoll, jeez. <laughs> Just to test our ragdoll out. Okay, so let's call die. Um, so we're gonna scroll all the way up. So make sure you have this uh, typed in. And we're gonna scroll up to our start function. So uh, right here, after the line for each rigid body uh, is kinematic true, we're gonna say invoke. And what we're gonna invoke is die. So quotation marks die. And we're gonna invoke this uh, method after three seconds. Let's read it. Okay. So once you have that, uh, save. Let's go back to Unity. <clears throat> and the la the only thing we need to do is add our skeleton. It is it is going to ask us for a health bar image. Um, for now, we're just going to leave blank. Uh, we're just going to focus on our skeleton. So just click and drag your SWAT hips or your hips. Click and drag that here. Well, actually, you know what? You don't have to grab hips. You can just grab the whole SWAT, the whole, like, your character. And then when you press play, you have three seconds. One, two, three, and then... We have an error. Oh yeah. Okay. So our health bar is being lame. So we do we do need to create a health bar. Um, okay. So someone has a question. Right, sure. Um. So get components with an S. Get components. So you're grabbing multiple components into a list. I know this is a little weird. Children, it's it's a plural. It should be get component in child, but it says in children. I guess it goes through all the children and looks for the component. That's why it says children. But no, you need an S here. All right, to fix the problem with the health bar, uh, just double slash this. Um, Mm, this one that says health bar dot fill amount. Let's put a double slash in front of it just so it can uh, so it doesn't bother you for for now because it the the code crashes here and uh, it's not gonna move on. So just push double slash and it should, should fix the problem. Okay, so when you press play, okay, it should be normal. So it's one, two, three, and then dead. Pretty cool. And we can't move anymore because we are dead. Uh, my I'm getting an error like when I run my thing. Uh, what is the error that you're getting? It says, uh, unassigned reference exception. The variable skeleton of player health has not been assigned. Yeah, so it's talking about the health bar thing. Did you double slash the health bar? Yeah. You sure you saved it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay, can you share your screen? Okay.
So, yeah, I used to get this error. Yeah. Oh, your skeleton is not assigned. So, click on your capsule. Uh, scroll down on your uh, inspector, and then you see the last thing. It says none skeleton. Mm -hmm. So, click and drag SWAT into that skeleton. Uh, okay. No, not oh, the hips, just SWAT. Uh, okay. There. Mm -hmm. What the? He just froze. He just froze? Yeah, like I can't move anymore. It's hilarious. Um, it looks like his thing didn't take over. Because he turned off the animator, but your rigid bodies are not taking over. Okay. Uh, can you stop playing? Can you go back to your code? Mm. Oh yeah, you forgot to turn off uh, your your rigid body, so uh, your, his kinematic should be false. Oh, no, no, not that one. That one is oh, true because that's your player. Uh, but each body part, uh, it's on line thirty nine. Yeah, that one should be false. Mm -hmm. Because each body part should now have uh, an active rigid body. Okay. Oh, wow. there we go. <laughs> there you go. All right, thanks. Um, Fernanda? Graceful. Mm -hmm. After we added, like, the, the ragdolls and stuff, the running got, like, really choppy. Did it? Yeah, for me at least. There's not a battery problem? No, I checked this time, yeah. My charger's plugged in, too. <laughs> um, uh, share your screen? Yeah, okay. So your ragdoll works, right? Yeah, yeah, everything works. It's just that the running got really choppy now. Okay. Press play. Like the ground moves with the player. It looks like that. Like once once I start running, it just looks weird. I don't know if that's just me. Hmm. I think that just might be you. Okay. Um yeah, can you click on Visual Studio? Okay. Let me scroll down. Hmm. This is your player yeah because your player health has nothing to do with your body and this thing runs in the runtime so it doesn't affect hmm. click on your player controller maybe uh where we upgraded the stuff that uh, something broke uh, scroll down keep going hmm. scroll up Okay. Um, can you go back to Unity? Can you go back to Unity? Click on your capsule. Okay. Smooth frequency is ten. Yeah, I have. I don't. I don't know. Maybe try lowering your smooth frequency instead of ten. Do like five. Okay. Yeah. Try that. Maybe it smooths it out. No, like. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's probably just me. Okay. <laughs> also, yeah. uh, in, uh -huh. in I think, Zane's code, I saw in the player health, the, the rigid body was set as true here. So should it be f true? Uh, yeah, it, that should be true. So when you die, yeah, when you die, your rigid, your, uh, rigid body becomes kinematic. But that shouldn't uh, yeah, affect yeah. your. Yeah, stuff. I just yeah, I just saw that because it looks the same. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Okay.
Um, okay, so now the next thing we need to do is um, yeah, so we're gonna make a trigger for this guy uh, that anytime he uh, reaches, let's just say when he touches the floor, um, let's play a game of uh, you know the floor is lava. So anytime he touches the floor, he's gonna play that animation. So yeah, he's gonna die. Um, then uh, you you press a button. Let's just say you press uh, R or P to reset. Uh, no, this is just a random cube I made. Um, <laughs> no, this is just a random cube just to test the animation stuff uh, I was uh, we were working on. Uh, but you don't have to do it. Um, yeah. So well, yeah, you are gonna start making cubes. Uh, so what I would like you to do is make some cubes, uh, make a path. Uh, you don't have to make it like super hard. Uh, you can just create a path that the player has to jump. Um, and then I would like you to make it you know, go a little high. Uh, it's got, like I said, it's a game of uh, the floor is lava. So if you touch the floor, uh, your player is going to start. Uh, your player is going to start the death. Uh, not the animation, but it's going to turn on the ragdoll. Um, yeah. So, yeah, so you can just design whatever you uh, whatever you want, um, and uh, and yeah. Okay. So once you make your your uh, your little map, again, whatever you want. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna create an invisible uh, box collider in the bottom. And then uh, using what we did la uh, all the previous classes, I would like you to figure out how would you um, how would you call the death function or the die function uh, when you touch that uh, that uh, that part. So uh, just create an empty game object and then add box collider. Okay. And then the box collider, you can stretch it out. Okay. So anytime he touches any anything here, um, this is the dead zone. You can call it dead zone. So how would you uh, how would you guys handle this? So I'll give you guys uh, maybe a couple minutes, five minutes, uh, to try to figure this out. Again, um, you can use the previous resources. You can look over your old projects. Uh, I'll give you guys a hint. It's uh, on collision enter and then a uh, collisions remember you have to have two rigid bodies so when the two rigid bodies collide you need to check if it's the tag and if it's that tag then it's going to call the death function wait i can't see my game obje object you can't see your game object no you mean the dead zone stuff yeah yeah you're not supposed to see it it's invisible yeah but how do i see it if so i know how to look, where to move it like how to expand it Oh, just uh, just put a box collider on it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the that's how I know how big the object is. And if you want, uh, I mean, you can be you can also add a uh, a texture to this. So if you want to go look for uh, you know, lava online, and then you can that is. That's the floor. Let's see. Oh, the texture. Wait, what script would we do this in? Play our controller? Mm, again, it's up for you to decide. Okay. Where are you going to put it? The thing you have to ask yourself is who is going to react with who? So is the lava reacting? Is the player reacting? Wait, what was the hint again? Um, the hint is on player collision. Uh, on collision enter. That's the okay. that's the script uh, part. Okay. Mm -hmm.
when I type on collision enter, it doesn't come up. Like, it doesn't, like, show it. Like, it, like, underlines it in red. Void on collision enter? Void on collision enter? Yeah. So, it should look something like this. Void on collision enter. Oh, okay. It should autocomplete for you. What? Yeah, it's still giving me an error. What script would we put these on? Uh, you have to decide where to put it. It says the variable on collision enter is declared but never used. Mm. Can you share your screen? Okay. It looks like pizza. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, void, no, it's capital O uh. on. Uh, and then enter is open close parentheses at the end. It's a function. Yep. Okay. Yep. But you don't have autocomplete on? Oh, I know why. Because you're typing it in the wrong location. Yeah, you're inside a function. You're typing a function inside a function. I'm inside update. Uh, no, it has to be outside update. It's its oh. own function. Yeah. It has to be part of the class, but not inside a function. There we go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. Some reason for me, void on collision enter isn't auto correcting. I'm not sure why. Um, again, it has to be inside uh, inside the class, but outside the functions. So oh. just like I have it out here, it has to be uh, um, inside the last curly brace, which is inside the class. Uh, but this is outside the class, so it's not inside update or it's not inside start. All right. Yeah. I'll be right back. I have to get something to drink. <clears throat>
Was that? I saw you uh, talking, Farsha. Oh, I didn't say anything actually. I oh, I just got on and I saw your uh, little mic thing going. Up oh, and no, up. I didn't say anything. <laughs> okay. Hey, did anyone uh, figure it out? Mm -hmm. You guys still need more time. I'm trying it out, but I don't think it's working very well. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, mine's not working either. It's okay. pretty challenging.
um fernando i think i got some of it but i don't know the actual collision codes like how to start it Is he here? I'm not sure, actually. Oh, I'm sorry. I was m muted. <laughs> I was like, yeah, talking for the like five minutes. I was like, why is no one saying yes? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I'm sorry about that. What was that, uh, Parshar? You said you, you have it? No, I don't have it, but I think I know some of it, but I don't know the actual, like, what happens when, it, how to write the coll collision part. Like, I think I got the else part right and the invoke thing, but other than that, I don't know. Um, okay, what's uh, on the code? What, what's what's wrong? No, that, I don't, I just don't know how to do the collision thing. So, the on collision enter, or yeah, that I mean, I don't know what exactly the code for that. Oh, oh I see. Um, okay. Yeah, this is there's two ways of doing this. Um, one you can do in in reference of the player, so you can add something to like player health. It's like on collision with, uh, let's just say dead zone, and then you can say dot, uh, if that object's name is dead zone, or the tag is dead zone, then uh, you know, uh, call your dead thing. Yeah, I know. I I I get that. I get the logic, but I just don't know exactly how to write that part. Okay. What about Zayn and Reese? Did you guys figure it out? No, I was able to get it. <laughs> Not even close. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. Um, so this is what uh, this is what I'm doing. Um, so take a look at my screen. Uh, so here, this is my dead zone. It looks like a bunch of pizza. Um, it's lava though. <laughs> and then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change uh, my dead zone's name. So I'm going to call it dead zone. And if I want to add a tag, I can also add a tag. Call it a tag and call it dead zone. Okay. And uh, just make sure it's tagged as dead zone. Okay. So now this object has a box letter and a rigid body. Okay. Uh, we're not going to use gravity. Uh, it's not kinematic. What we, what we are going to do is we're going to freeze the position. We don't want this object to move. Um, if our player steps on it, if our player steps on it, it's just a collision that's happening and that's it. Um, and then we have our player. So let's uh, open up a player. Uh, let's go to our player and open up player health. Okay. In player health, we're going to write uh, a on collision enter. And here we're going to say if collision dot game object dot um, pair tag. So we're looking for tag. If that tag is um, Dead zone. Then we're going to call it die. And if you're not sure what is hitting it, you can just say debug dot log um, collision dot collision dot uh, that tag, and it should give you the tag. Uh, what what's the current tag? So debug dot log is kind of like a print, and what do you want to print? In this case, uh, this uh, this object that just hit. Um, you're going to grab the tag of that game object. So uh, when you press play, and when you, uh, yeah, when you touch the lava, you should, oh, it's uh, vibrating, nice. Yeah, so as you see, the, the, the here, it says a uh, player, and it says um, that it's it collided with the object. So now if I slide again. Uh, can you go back to the code? OK. Uh, also, the dead zone you made, is that just a plane that you stacked one on top of each other? Or is that like something this is a No, it's a cube. Oh, a cube. Could I do a plane? You can do a plane. It should work because right. uh, it's the same. Um, for net, so you don't have you didn't have to specify like what would hit it, right? Because I was thinking, oh, you have to specify that the player would hit the dead zone or something. But well, yeah, just, that's, yeah, that's the second way of doing it. If you want from the dead zone's point of view, um, then you, you have to make a new script. Uh, like you were seeing on my screen, I made a new script called dead. Um, and if that object detects the player, then um, that object is going to call the player's health to die. That's, uh, okay. Yeah. 
So, like I said, there's two ways of doing it. From mm -hmm. uh, what perspective do you want? You want perspective from the dead zone. You're detecting the player, or you're detecting from the player's perspective. Are you you're detecting the dead zone? Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, Fernando, for some reason, my camera is like really weird now. What's wrong? Like, uh, it's like all the way, like, way far, far away from the player. Mm, oh, just make sure your uh, your camera, whatever you move your cam, uh, your player. Make sure your camera follows. Oh. Yeah, they're both out. Follow? Um, just highlight both of them when you're gonna move. Oh, I already moved my player though, and I didn't move the camera with it. Um. So if you move your player, just um, I don't know, just make your camera a child of capsule, and then zero it out, and then just reset the position. Just okay. pull it back, and then pull it. Yeah. So you like it. Oh yeah, and mine's not working. Like the death thing. The dead thing is not working? Yeah. Hmm. Let's take a look. Alright. So basically, if I go down here, it just doesn't kill me. Oh, it's not detecting? Okay. I think I know the problem. Uh, does anyone else have that problem? No, mine worked. Mine worked. Oh, what problem? Um, that your your player, when he touches the um, the dead zone, it doesn't he doesn't die. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have that. You have the same problem? No, I, okay. I got it to work. So. You got it too? No, I got it to work. Oh, you got it to work. So when you touch the ground, it, it kills you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I think the problem might be uh, well, the, one of the problems is the colliders, the uh, box, uh, the sphere collider, uh, whatever it's called, the um, capsule colliders. The capsule colliders are the ones that are on the legs, are the ones that are uh, not allowing the big collider to collide with the, the floor. So it's. Um, it's like acting like a spacer. Uh, so just go back to the code. <clears throat> okay. Scroll all the way uh, up. And then um, just copy this thing um, instead of what? Well, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, let's copy this thing and just. We need to Wait, change. Uh, I already have that. Huh? I already have that, though. I know, I know. We're going to turn off the capsule colliders. Instead of rigid bodies, they're going to be capsule colliders. So capsule okay. collider. So we're turning off capsule colliders. Just copy and paste uh, the capsule collider stuff. Um, and here, let's just do cap collider instead of bodies. And here we're going to say our CC. And then we say CC dot enabled equals false. And just copy this again. Uh, copy the thing you just uh, changed. Oh, actually, mine's not working anymore. So I, I... Wait, I don't know what you changed. Why are there two of them? Uh, one is for the rigid bodies, and one is for the capsule colliders. I only have one. Yeah, you're supposed to copy. Uh, you're supposed to copy the rigid bodies oh. and then paste the uh, paste it for the. Yeah, just copy. Just copy the stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. Copy and then right after it, paste it. And instead of okay. rigid bodies, we're looking for capsule colliders. Oh. Yeah.
Yeah, capture collider. You can just copy and paste capture collider. Or uh, typing is good too. <laughs> yeah, instead of RB, changes to CC. Okay. Yeah, and then um, inside the uh, for each. It's like that. Yeah. Uh, and then inside, the change it uh, CC. But we're not doing is kinematic. We're just saying it is uh, just enabled equals false. Okay. Yeah, enabled equals false. Yep. Oh, we're still not done. <laughs> Uh -huh. we, yeah, we disabled it, but now we need to re-enable them uh, when we turn on our ragdolls. Um, I have a question. question. So, like, you know, usually when you type uh, parentheses, like, it autocorrects, like, it puts another one immediately after? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's not working for me. Like, that's not happening. You know how to, like, change that? It's, like, maybe, like, a setting or something. Can you hit... Uh, I need to see what you're trying to say. Uh, can you share your screen? All right. So um, I'll share. All right, once you do that, um, Zane, uh, you can save it, and then it should work now. So like, uh, if wait, I so want... mine's working? I thought we, I thought we had to do something else. But that's why you turn off. Uh, you turn on the. Hey, what oh, the... Hold on. Turn on what? Uh, you turn on the the colliders. When do we turn it on? Oh, it's on die. Oh, in die? Yeah, so in, yeah, in die. So just copy and paste the, the thing you just wrote for the capsule colliders. Okay. And then uh, paste it right after you do the rigid bodies. And instead of disabled, you do you enable them. You set, to, you set it to true. Wait, what rigid bodies? All I have is just die. But that's why inside die, you see oh. we inside the function die, we turn off the components. And yeah. then we uh, have a loop with the rigid bodies. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, and then so after that, true. yeah, and then do the same thing, but for capsule colliders. So it's exactly what we just did, except instead of false, it's true. Okay. Yeah. All right, Reese, do you, do you share your screen? Oh, it still doesn't work. Hmm? Yeah, it's still not working, but yeah. No, oh, hold on. I'm gonna help Reese out. What's that, Reese? Okay. Um, okay. So this has to be inside the uh, start and start function. You don't have it inside the start function. Yeah, and then put it inside after invoke, invoke three, press enter, paste. Yeah, that's how you do it. And you do a curly braces, and then there you go. Um, Fernando, for some reason, I can't look up and down now. You broke it? Yeah. Like, I can look side to side, but not up and down. Um, okay, let me uh, have to fix that. Just a moment. Why is my character floating? Oh, whoops. So mine is working now. And I touched the lava and it's working. Uh, okay, do you want to share your screen, Parsha? Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, re uh, Zane, one thing you can do to fix the uh, the problem, I, I saw that for some reason the guy, the capsule is not directly touching the floor. Uh, so just make your capsule just a little bit bigger. So go to your capsule and then go okay. to your capsule collider and then go to height. Instead of two, just put 2.2. .2. Uh. Oh, okay, 2.2. .2. All right, I'll yeah. try that. And that should help out the touching the, the floor. Oh, yeah, it if works it, now. Yeah, for some reason, the, the thing wasn't touching. 
Um, right. I, it should be touching that. It's pretty dumb. Okay. Um, let's see. This is for Parshar. Okay, Parshar, let's see what you have. Uh, let me, uh, I'll pull up the script right now, Zane. Um, Reese, you can take like, a look. Like, I keep moving my mouse, but I can't look up. So, uh, make sure you, uh, room, uh, this is in the die, so you don't get this confused. What was that, uh, Parsha? I, like, I can't look up. I can only look side to side. Oh, yeah, you can't look up. There's no looking up. <laughs> the script only has side to side. Wait, why do I remember being able to? Uh, this is your first person shooter. Because the first person shooter you can aim, so this one you can only look left and right. Uh, I, no, I, I, co oh. I coded it. I coded it just to look for left and right. Okay, but then okay, but I also have a problem with the. With the dead zone. Yeah. Okay. Did you copy the the code we uh, I just said? Um. Okay. Stop playing. Let's go to your code. Did you disable your capsule colliders? Yeah. Mm. Uh, scroll up. Uh, okay, that's good. Start equals. Wait, no, no. <laughs> um, you're missing stuff. So uh, inside the for you see the for loop. It says for each yeah. rigid body. We're not going to rigid bodies. We're going to capsule colliders. Uh huh. Uh. Yeah, I think right. you pressed insert. Capsule collider, and then is that it? Or no, no, no. Uh, I think you press the key insert. There you go. Uh, on your keyboard, I think you pressed insert. Click insert again. Insert? I don't have an insert key. It's, yeah. It's right next to like F11 and F12. Yeah, I'm pressing it. I don't know what, what that's. Oh, just press about. it once. Uh, the whole purpose of insert is uh, everything you type, when, you, when insert is enabled, when you type, everything gets deleted in front of it. So it's basically like replacing the whatever you have um, yeah uh, see? Okay. <laughs> it's dumb <laughs> yeah don't use it so capsule collider and um the cc space cc uh space in space cap collider yeah wait yeah that, that one you spelled it wrong yeah <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why does it keep taking away? Oh, is it because of... Oh, because it's insert, yeah. Oh, my God, okay. And then close parentheses. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you change, instead of RB, that is kinematic, so you erase that line. It's CC, no. Mm -hmm. CC dot enabled equals true. Oh, actually, it's false, because um, uh, this is when you start. When you start, every it's false. Mm -hmm. Now copy those those four lines. So copy capsule collider and then the for loop. Yeah, yeah. Copy it and then scroll down and we're gonna go to die. So after the for loop for rigid body. Uh, yeah, paste it there. Okay. Um, you have an extra curly yeah. brace for some reason. Yeah, that one erase it. Uh, I think you have another extra one. Uh, the last one on line 57. I don't think that's... Yeah, there you go. Okay, and then uh, you're going to say enabled equals true. Yeah. Try that out. Press Control S. But you have the on uh, void on collision enter, right? Yeah. And you're calling die, right? Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Uh, the next thing you need to do is stop playing. Is um, click on your player and then make his uh, capsule collider a little bit longer. So your capsule, yeah. Let's scroll down on your capsule collider. There's a uh, thing called height, and make it a little bit bigger. Make it two point two. Capsule collider and then height. Yeah, and try that. Oh, is it because the feet were touching? Yeah, down? for some reason it's not directly on the on the floor. I think it's because of the character controller that gives it a weird space. Okay. okay. Yeah. Hmm. 
Wow. <laughs> yeah. He does that because uh, you don't, you didn't disable your um, <laughs> your rigid body. So go back to your code. Uh, let's see. Uh, is kinematic a true? Uh, wait, wait. No, no. This is false. Yeah. Scroll up. Go up, 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 up. Oh, that's right. Huh. Um, is kinematic true and false? Uh, scroll down. Character controller. Oh, what is this else statement that you have there? Well, why do you have an else? Statement? Oh, I don't know. I thought. Yeah. I think when I was actually trying it out, I just. Put the ah, I see. Yeah, you don't need that else. You don't need an e. You only need an f. Okay. Um. But, um let's just see if I'm not sure. Uh, animator is false. Scroll up just a bit. And then rigid body is kinematic is true. Yeah. Okay. Try that. Save it. On your ground, you can uh, just check on is kinematic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you might have. That else statement did something. OK, yeah. cool. So now you can play the floor is lava, right? Uh, did everyone else get it? Uh, Zane, did you get it? Reese, did you get it? Uh, like the um, death thing on the floor. Mine's, mine's yeah. not work. Yeah, mine works. OK. Z Reese, can I take a look at your screen? Yeah, sure. Oh, uh, for everyone else, um, if you guys are done with the, the, the floor is lava, um, we're going to add an extra animation to this. So I'm going to show you guys how to do um, uh, just uh, add uh, other animation. So can you guys uh, visit a website called Mixamo? So um, on on my uh, screen, you guys can uh, you just go to Mixamo.com. And you guys can log in with your uh, Gmail account. And here's where I got all my characters and animations. So just click on characters and look for the character you had. So in, in this case, it's the it's a soldier guy. Uh, so soldier. Do you have to like create an account or something? Oh, no, you can log in with your Gmail. Oh. Yeah. So you just click on your SWAT guy and just look for animation and just look for one animation you like. So you can look for like a dance animation and um, whichever, whichever animation you like, just select it. Um, and just, or you can just browse around while I, hate, uh, while I help uh, Reese and uh, I'll be back with you guys. Okay. Let's see. Um, All right. So um, yeah. yeah. Let's fix your let's fix your stuff first. Yeah, my screen mine just doesn't work. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Uh, I can't. <laughs> let's just go to your code first, and then we can do this. Uh, I can't. Worry, yeah, gonna... I can't see anything. Cause all right. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm in my code. Am I presenting? Yes, you are. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So. Okay. Um, let's see what's wrong. Um, okay. So first, let's delete line number twenty-four. We don't need this line anymore. The oh, invoke okay. line. Yeah, twenty-four. We don't need it because uh, we're dying because of the on collision enter. Okay. So we have that. Uh, we have your rigid body. That's good. That's false. CC enables. True. Okay. No, it's uh, that enable is false. So uh, line number twenty-eight. It's false. Yeah, because okay. we need to turn off all the colliders. Uh, scroll down to your die. OK, this is where we want our stuff. Um, OK, OK, I see your problem. You didn't, uh, you deleted the wrong stuff. Oh. Okay. <laughs> scroll up just a bit. OK. OK, can you highlight line number 19 through 23? Yeah, and then copy. And then we're going to paste it right after line 41. Yeah, press Enter and paste it. OK. And then change false to true. Wait, Forget wait, hold on. Uh, no, that's wrong. It's false and then true. Oh, so you're, you have yours reversed. <laughs> OK, so yeah, so that is false. Change that to false. Yeah, and go back up. And then the, the one on top is true. The line number 22, yeah, that one's true. Oh, okay. Yeah, perfect. Okay, scroll down. Uh, okay, so this one, you need to change it. Uh, instead of RB is kinematic, it's supposed to be CC.enabled. So CC.enabled equals true. 
Yeah. Okay. All right, save it. Uh, hold on. Scroll down. I want to see your on collision enter. Avoid on collision enter. Okay. If collision game object compared to a dead zone. Okay. And then here you don't have a condition, so you don't have anything to do, uh, with your if statement. So then go ahead, go into line eighty four. Eighty four. Uh huh. And then type in die. Yeah. Open close parentheses and then semicolon. I'm sure. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Save it. Okay. Go back to Unity. Okay, um, can you click on your dead zone? Yeah. Uh, okay, so your dead zone is not tagged. You see it says tag and then untagged on the top I, right next to the name. Yeah. Or below the name. It says Wait. untagged. Yeah. yeah, so make a tag. Click on add tag and then type in dead zone. So the same way you typed it in your script. Mm -hmm. Okay, go back to your, uh, uh, click on your dead zone again and then tag it as dead zone. Good. Uh, so does this have a box collider? I mean, a mesh collider and a rigid body? Uh, no rigid body. I'll do that. Okay. Though. Remove the box collider. You don't need it. It's only one. Yeah, the mesh collider. Okay, right. that's fine. So we have that. Your rigid body. Uh, uh, uncheck gravity and then click on is kinematic. Yep. Okay. Uh, click on your capsule. Okay, let's scroll down. Uh, oh, it says you're missing. Uh, okay, it looks like you have an error. Or wait, what is that missing stuff for? Mono is correct. Um, you Should can I you remove it? Yeah, just yeah. remove it. Remove it, and then add component player health. Yeah, scroll down. Okay, click and drag your skeleton. So click and drag uh, CH35 non PVR. Yeah. Into skeleton. Uh, skeleton. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Press play and see how. We, oh, uh, one last thing. Hold on. Click on capsule and make your capsule just a bit bigger. Uh, uh, to do go up where it says height on capsule. Instead of 2.8, do 2.2. Yeah. And press play. Uh, let me see. Uh, it's not. I'm just frozen. You're just frozen? Yeah, I hope I did the rag all right. I'm just frozen. I'm not. I'm not able to uh, okay, stop playing. Um, click on your player on your capsule. I mean. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay, go back to your script. Your health. Uh yeah. Um, scroll up. Hmm, that's interesting. And you're not able to move, right? No, oh, just frozen. Mm, everything looks right. Go back to your um, Unity. Click on your capsule. Try to press play again. Let's see if it works. Maybe, maybe I want to. That's not working. Weird. You can't press W, or when you press W, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, your player controller. Oh, it is dead. Your player is dead. So all you see, all your stuff is. But why isn't your other things turned on? Interesting. Okay, stop playing. Um, can you click on your hips? Mix some. It says mix some more rig hips. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you oh, don't have your, here. huh? Uh, no, no. Continue. <laughs> you don't have your ragdoll set up. Yeah, I was gonna say that. <laughs> well, I, I said a ragdoll, but I, I like I, uh, I connected everything, but I can't see it. Yeah, it's not here. Okay, so you don't have a ragdoll. So go to game object. Dang it. You gotta be kidding me. Um, 3D. Yeah. And ragdoll. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now grab right. your hips, put it in pelvis. Mm -hmm. Go to, uh, yeah, left leg up. Yeah, that's the next one. And then left leg. That's the next one. And then oh, uh, one more. Uh, foot. The, the foot, right? Yeah. 
Hey, I'll do the same thing with the other one. Right. Oh. What's up? Oh. oh, I thought someone said something. Sorry. That's okay. All right. And all right. Okay, and then grab your spine and then put it at uh, middle spine. Spine two. Spine two. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> it's just spine two. Oh, just uh, okay. You can't see it. Uh, click. Oh, open up spine two. That's what I meant. Oh. Click a little arrow on spine two. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. So we'll open up neck. Yeah, and go grab the head and put it into head. Okay, and then uh, we're looking for the left stuff. Yeah. So left arm into left arm. Huh? And then elbow to the forearm. Uh, yeah, forearm into elbow. Okay, do the same thing with the right one. So let's go down, sure. skip the shoulder. Yeah, and then go to right arm. Good. And then finally, forearm. Oh. Perfect. Okay, click on create. Finally. There you All go. Right. Yes. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> okay. Graceful fall. <laughs> okay, so save it. And make sure to save your project. Press control. Oh, S. Uh, how do am I able to move this on top of here so I don't like instantly die? Yeah, so hold on, I'll teach you how to I'll, I'll show you how to do it. Um, scroll up on your can you collapse everything where it says CH 35 non PBR? So the first blue one, no, 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 stop, 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 stop. You can just collapse everything, just uh, yeah, right there, mm -hmm. and then collapse your capsule. You don't need to see the other stuff, okay? Grab your capsule and your main camera. So, uh, can you, yeah, click on one and then press control, yeah, okay, and then now you can move your character anywhere. Just All right. Out. Yeah, make sure you select both of them uh, when you move them, or else your camera's going to be out of uh, out of place. Yeah. So now you can test it out, like be on the on the rock area and then fall down into the lava, and then uh, you'll die because of the lava. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. All right. So go quickly. Go look for your animation so we can uh, add that animation thing on Mixamo. Hey, everyone else, grab their animation. Uh, look for an animation. It's not letting me get log in. Uh, with Google account? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Well, it wants me to create one account, so I'm are trying you, to you know, do that. Uh, right, are you right. using your school account? Because you what? Don't know. What? It's, Can I not use the school account? No, no, it's right. It's right below. Um, it's right below where you created an uh, a, an account. It says use Google, Facebook, or something else. Just press Google. Oh, okay. Do you see it? Not yet. Oh, wait. Is it continue with Google? Yeah. Oh, I see it. It says access denied. You are not eligible to use this product or service due to service eligibility requirements. Hey, are you using your um, school I'm account? Using, no, I'm using my home account. Oh, I see. Well, uh, it let me use it. Let's see. Hold on. So you have. Um, uh, okay, so do this. Um, so when you're at Mixamo, just click on login. Uh. Okay. Okay, and then it says right there um, the email address, or it says or continue with Google. Yeah, I see that. Okay, and just click your account. Wait, click continue with Google. Yeah, continue with Google. Okay, yeah, that's what I did before, and then I just click my account. Okay, and, and it's then, still giving you. Yeah, it does the same thing. Access denied. Interesting. Uh, what about you, Zane? Uh, do you have? I mean, Reese, do you have that problem? No, I'm good. Zane, you can log into my account if you need to. It's fine. I, if that could work. All right. Can I just log into your Google account? Yeah. Okay. Okay. What I'll about try your that. Parachar? What about your Parachar? Are you logged in? Uh, yeah, mine works fine. I'm. I chose one, but should I download it now? Um. Uh, okay, no. I'll Reese, I logged into your account. So I'm in. Yeah. So once you have a once you have an animation, um, uh, let's see. yeah, just grab the animation. So what you're gonna do is just click on the yeah, download, 
And when you click on download, uh, make sure you change the format to FBX for Unity. And then uh, uh, click on without skin, because we don't want skin uh, on this animation. And just click download when you're ready. And when you have it downloaded, uh, drag it into drag and drop it into Unity, the folder, um, the, the project folder. Wait, what format do we do? Is it .fbx or is it fbx yeah, for Unity? For Unity, we're doing Unity stuff. Okay. And then frames per second, thirty. Yeah. And then without skin. Without skin, no skin. We just want the skeleton. Okay. <laughs> Okay, just download whichever one, and uh, you guys can do more in your free time. Just download the first one you see, or the first one that's good, and then again, you just drag and drop it into Unity, the project folder. Okay, once you put it in, uh, okay, hopefully everyone's there. Um, Reese, are you there? Zane? Yeah, I'm here. I mean, did you drag it into the yeah, project I'm here. folder? Yeah, I'm here. I dragged it in. Oh, okay, yeah. so make sure everyone's uh, at the same page. I don't lose, so I don't lose everyone. Power shock. Sorry, what? Uh, did you drag it into your Unity game? I mean, Unity yeah, I project. Mm -hmm. Okay, so click on click on that thing you just downloaded it. Uh, just download it. Um, I think it's mine is a blue square. I don't know what's your icon, but just it's gonna say SWAT at and then the name of the animation you downloaded. So uh, go on top, and it's going to say Model, Rig, Animation, and Materials. There's going to be four tabs. Uh, click on Rig, and we need to change the rig from generic to humanoid. OK. Uh, once you're done with that, um, I think, how did we do this last time? Is it just? Oh yeah, we copy from another uh, another avatar. So uh, you can just click on um, create from another avatar, and then select your the player you you, uh, you you built it into. So I built it into the SWAT guy, the SWAT avatar. Just press apply, and his animation should be yeah. So you just click on animation. You can press play. His animation should play. Oh, I'm getting errors. It says, errors found while importing rig in this animation file. Open import messages, fold out below for more details. Yeah, so the rig, what uh, what character did you use when you downloaded uh, the animation? Like, um, oh, wait, do you mean like, I use a SWAT avatar, is that what you mean? Yeah, I know, but on uh, on Mixamo, what uh, avatar did you use? Oh, like which, which thing? Yeah. Oh, I mine's called Samba Dancing. No, no, no. That's the animation. What's the character's name? Or what's the character? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. How do yeah, I know? I just, oh, I think I just got like the, the oh. not the SWAT character. Wait, I think it's like Xbot. The, yeah, the oh, Xbot. Yeah. The Xbox? Yeah, because oh. it's Xbot at Samba Dancing. Oh, okay, yeah. So you downloaded the the Xbot. Okay, so on the on the on the source on the avatar, click on uh, the Xbot instead or the Y bot. Oh, okay. I think Wait, it's called Ybot. No, not... Ybot. There's no option for that. For All right, me. yeah, I just did Ybot. You should have Ybot. It's uh, one of the defaults I, I left on the game. And then will it just play as soon as we go in? Uh, No, it's not. We need to enable it. Oh. Yeah. For some, I don't have the source tab. No, no, it should be on the rig. I know, I know. I, I know, but when uh, I go to you... rig, it says okay, animation so she... type. Humanoid, avatar, yeah, avatar definition. Copy from another an optimized game objects. You click on copy from another avatar. The avatar definition. Okay. Instead yeah. of create from this model, copy from uh, from other yeah. avatar. Okay. Uh huh. And then, and then click on. Right? Uh no, if yours no. it says Y bot, just click on Y bot. Um, I I I'm still getting an error, and I'm positive I used I bot, or Y bot, whatever the name is. Okay, um, can you uh, share your screen? Yes. Let your computer freeze for a bit. <laughs> it did. That's how, you were. <laughs> That's how you were. 
I thought you were like panicking under. I, I hadn't saved, so I was nervous. I thought my computer was about to crash. Okay. All right. Um, okay. So let's click on your animation. So where's the animation? Uh, where was it? That Gosh. you downloaded. I was just here. Uh, oh, go okay. I'll collect the assets. Yeah, assets. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah. So yours is Y bot. No, yours is X bot. Oh, that's interesting. Um, can you go back to Mixamo? Let me see the bot that you're downloading. Is it a pink bot? Yeah. Oh, you're supposed to use the blue bot, and not the pink oh. bot. Okay, <laughs> right, I'll get a new. Go one. back to Mixamo. No, go back to Mixamo. All right. Do, 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 do. Yeah. So click on characters. Characters. No, no. There's a uh, top. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. And then look for uh, uh, look for the X bot, or type in X bot in the search bar. Yeah, no, that's oh, why bot? Why bot? Sorry. Yeah, that's the one you want to download. Oh wait, so can I not use the dance I was gonna do, or does it... you can? Yeah, it works. All right, so I can. It's just start. yeah, it's just um, without screen. Yeah, it thinks fine. Yeah, don't know. It's just a mix of how it blends the stuff. Um, you have to have the right uh, skeleton. So whatever skeleton you use for that model, that's the avatar you need to use. And I can just remove this Xbot one? Yeah, you can just delete it. Goodbye, Xbot. OK, and I click on Ybot, and then uh, click on generic. OK, uh, humanoid. Yeah, uh, copy, and then click the circle. Look for Ybot. There we okay. go. Now you don't have errors. Thank you. All right, uh, everyone else said uh, OK, right? I assume everyone's OK. OK, so the next thing we need to do is we're going to grab this uh, little dance animation. And we want to uh, play this animation when we press the starting key. So let's go to the animator. <clears throat> um, so your animator should be on the top, uh, uh, one of the top tabs, this animator. Uh, once you have this animator, yeah. we're going to just click and drag your uh, your um, the thing you just downloaded animation. Just drag it in there, and it's going to tell you the name of the of the, uh, of the animation. Okay, and just like we did with jump, uh, we're going to grab it from any state, and it's going to go to our local motion. So once the animation finishes, so we're going to right click on any state, make transition. And then click on the, the new animation. And then right click from that animation, make transition back to locomotion. Okay. So just right click, make transition, right click, make transition. Okay. Once you have those two arrows, uh, this arrow requires a condition. So the condition is going to be uh, press plus, and we're going to add a trigger. And let's call it. Um, dance, I guess. Everyone got a dance animation, so just dance. <laughs> um, okay, so make that uh, make that parameter. So all we did is press plus up here, and then click on trigger. Yeah, okay? and then uh, call it dance. And then we're gonna go to the inspector. Make sure you click on the arrow that's going from any state to YMS, uh, to the dance. So you click on that, and then uh, there's conditions. Press plus, and then change it to dance. Is uh, dance the parameter? Is it a trigger? Yeah, it's a trigger. Got it, got it, got it. Um, um, Fernando, how did you get the YMCA dance to come up there? Oh, I just clicked and drag it from the from the folder. So it's not, mine is called YMCA dance. Uh, yours is called something else because you downloaded a different animation. Just click and drag it into the, into the animator. Uh... And it should create the animation box. Yeah, now it's working. OK. Uh -huh. Just make sure you uh, you make the arrows. So wait, what is the, for, it's from any state to, OK. Any state to the new animation that you made, and then from the new animation back to locomotion. Okay, 
Um, so yeah, so just make sure you have the trigger. Make sure that trigger belongs in the arrow that's going down from any state. So it knows when dance is triggered, it's going to activate this, um, um, this animation. Okay. And then uh, we're going to go to our... So is everyone, does everyone have this so I can move on to the script? Yeah, I have it. Well, I, I have it. I don't know about anybody else, but I do. Okay. I have it. Okay. So let's go to our, uh, our script. And let's go to player controller. Uh, we're going to add more code to this. <laughs> okay. Let's go all the way at the end. So the last line of code is to say anim.setfloat speed temperature, uh, temp mag uh, magnitude. Temporary magnitude, <clears throat> and we're gonna make a new line after that. And in here, we're gonna say if input dot get key down, and you want whatever key you uh, code. Um, I'm just gonna press um, E. Press E. It's going to um, say anim dot set. Trigger, and then the trigger is dance. For my dance is a lowercase d because that's what I uh, put on the as a parameter on the uh, on the thing on the animator. Okay. Once you have this, save it, and then that's it. You go back to Unity, press play, and then press the key you want, and it starts to do that uh, this little dance. And press E, press play, and then press E, and then voila. It's uh, doing this little funky dance there. The only thing is um, his legs are float. My legs are floating. Uh, the reason why is because we need to huh, we need to bake the the animation. This oh, animation mine's not, not working, by the way. Okay. Well, this animation is not baked, so we need to fix this. Uh, what's wrong with yours? Uh, it just doesn't dance. <laughs> Okay, can you share your screen? Yeah. Okay. It's just um, like not dancing when I'm dancing, trying to dance. Okay, stop uh, playing. Go to your animator. Mm. Uh, okay, uh, can you click on the arrow this coming one? back? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is dance, capital D. Okay, let's go back to your script. Uh, okay, capital D, dance. Oh, it's not reset trigger, it's set trigger. Oh. Uh, it's like that? Yeah. There we go. Um, mine's still not working, and I put set trigger. Yeah, mine's not working either. I think I might have messed something up in the animator. <laughs> the, um... <laughs> okay. What was that? Um, I'm looking at Zane stuff. <laughs> was that, Reese? Yeah, mine's not working, and I put set trigger, and mine looks fine. I got no errors or anything. Uh, okay. Can you share your screen? Yeah. Were you laughing at Zane's character doing the samba dance and then committing suicide into the death pit? Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty funny. All right. Okay. Um, okay, so you have dance, lowercase d, set trigger. Okay, let's go back to Unity. <laughs> um, okay, go to parameters. Uh, it's the thing right next here. to layers. Up oh, right there. Uh -huh. Yeah. So that your dance is capital D, and I think you put uh -huh. lowercase d on your. Uh, just rename it on your. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Click on the arrow that's going to your dance. Okay. Whatever. Sorry, it's fine. I it's, fine it's fine. Oh, it works though. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, Fernando, mine doesn't work. I think I'm gonna miss something in the animations. I don't know. Okay, can you uh, share your screen? Yes. Yeah, 
Is it sharing? Uh, yeah, is this yours? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay, so what's wrong? Uh, it's just not working. Okay, so your Oh, so you have the same problem. You downloaded the pink uh, robot. It's supposed to be the blue robot, uh, the white bot, not the X bot. Uh, so click on, go back to your animation stuff um, where you download it, the Google Chrome, and then change your character to the blue person. Which so click on, uh, no, click on character. Uh, it's on the top tab on the left pop up. Next to the name Mixamo, just characters. And then so look for Xbot. Um, click on a search and then put Xbot. Or Ybot, sorry. Yeah, whatever. Click on Ybot. Yeah. And that's the one you need. Yeah. Press oh, download. Okay. Yeah, download and uh, drag it and drag it in. Because uh, you're using the Y um, you downloaded Ybot skeleton, but you're asking to use Xbot skeleton. So that's why it's getting confused. Oh, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So you have, you have to be consistent with the skeletons. Wait, Just click wait. and drag your Y bot into uh, Unity. Yeah. And then uh, just delete your X bot. You don't need it anymore. Yeah, and then click on Y bot. And then uh, click on Humanoid. Good. Copy. Okay, and then click the little circle avatar. And look for Ybot. Ybot? Okay. Yeah. And then press apply. Okay. And okay, now you can just uh, click on your stand, uh, which is stand up. Is that your animation? Yeah. Yeah. So just click and drag at the, or click on the little arrow next to stand. Uh, no. Should I just delete this one then? This is no, no, no. No, no. <laughs> just delete the one you just made. Yeah. yeah click on the arrow uh, on your project folder. Click on the little arrow that says Ybot standing. Why and on your project folder, pro on your project folder, project okay. folder. Why about standing? Yeah, the little arrow. Yeah, and then click and drag your stand. Uh, no, click on stand up inside your animator. Mm -hmm. It's gonna tell you none. So just click and drag your motion none. So stand up into none. Yeah, you just replaced it. Yeah, and that's it. Okay. And I think the rest of the stuff should work. No, an attempt was made to access a socket in a way forbidden by its access permissions. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay, stop playing. Um, can you go to your animator? Yeah, and then delete, delete it, and then uh, reconnect. Uh, add, add it again. Yeah. Connect it again. Okay, click on the arrow going to stand up. Yeah, and then add a go down. Add a condition. And then set a speed to stand up. Yep. And can you go can I look at your code? The trigger stand up. Yep. Okay. Looks good. What did I just do? Okay. Press play. Just press the button there. Nice. Right. Hmm. Press play and then press the button. Wait, no, it's going to die. On the cube? Yeah. No, because I have to, like, jump over everything. Wait. Yeah, it works. Some uh, funny animation out there. Yeah. But I just... <laughs> just a, yeah. Um, we need to bake the thing. Okay, the last thing we need to do is do this. Um, okay, click Wait, on your... Yeah, one more, sorry, one more thing. So the camera doesn't move with it. Is it because is it it's not a child? Yeah. Um. Yeah. It's not programmed to follow the player. Um. Uh, it's uh. It's programmed to whatever distance you have. That's the new um distance it has. So just move. You manually move your your camera to your player. Yeah. yeah. 
Okay, the last thing we need to do is click on your animation you downloaded. Um, go to the animation tab. Um, okay, so you see how it says model rig and then animation. So click on animation. And then uh, in that animation tab, uh, you're going to scroll down where it says uh, it's going to be all the, all the properties of this animation. So what you're going to do is it says bake into pose, check mark, and then body orientation, put original, check mark, original, check mark, original. Okay. Make sure you Wait, have all of them. Get there, sorry. Um, I'm sorry. Where did you? How did you get there? Is it animation? Oh, click on the white bot uh, standing up animation. Yeah, and then it's uh, animation. Yeah, right there. Uh, scroll down. Right there. Mm -hmm. Up, up. <laughs> it's right there. Yeah. Do you see? It says bake into pose. Yeah. yeah check mark. Uh huh. And then change that to original instead of body orientation. Change it to original. Uh huh. Check mark. Original. Check mark. Original. This one too. Yeah. And just press apply. And then uh, that should make your animations better. Your animation better. Because now it's baked into pose. So now I can I do a little dance. Now he's dancing exactly where he is. So it bakes it into the correct location. I'm so sorry. I know you just said this, but I can't. Oh, shoot. Never mind. I, I see it now. It's an animation. I was looking in. Oh, OK. <laughs> yeah, so just do that. And then it, it's going to help your animation. Um, it's gonna have your animation run. What's wrong? Uh, for now, wait. Are we gonna do anything else today? No, that that's it. That's it. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, just make sure I'm you uh, fix that animation, and then you're free to go. All right, I'm probably gonna get off Thank then. You. Thank okay. you. All right, guys, take care. Bye. Bye. What do we change to original? The normal or whatever. Um, you have to change the uh, the oh, okay. bake uh, bake into pose and then uh, based upon original bake into pose. So look at my screen and see how I uh, right. put bake into pose and then based on uh, so change the body orientation to original. What's wrong, Parashar? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I think it's because the view target didn't move with the capsule. Yeah. I don't know. Why. Uh, Oh no! You moved your player. <laughs> okay. Um. The, you, yeah. You. Click on your player slot and then change it to yeah. Uh, change it to negative one. Is it negative one? Hold on. Let me uh, confirm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Negative one. Yeah. That's a tricky thing. Is that better? Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, then, Parashar, have fun with animation. Yeah, thank um, you. All right, take care. Have a nice weekend. Bye. You too. Oh, wait, I forgot to stop recording. Haha. <laughs>